Hi guys, it's Shirin from Love Lady Lux and I thought I would show you my morning routine for getting ready. It usually takes me about 25 minutes to get ready in the morning so it doesn't take very much time at all. It's pretty fast paced obviously in this video I'm going to be slowing it right down just so I can talk you through each step but when I'm doing it obviously without filming a tutorial I am lightning fast and I try and get it done as quickly as I can sometimes I'm a little bit slower and sometimes it takes a little bit less time to, I guess it just depends on how much sleep I've got and how alert I am of the morning I usually try to have my hair already done so I don't really have to do too much uh, to it when I say have it done I mean curled um, so that I either need to just like tease the front to have a little bit of volume or just brush it through so I've just started in a new job and the previous job I was in, uh, even though I took care with my appearance, it wasn't really a job that I felt like I needed to wear or felt like I liked to wear a lot of makeup. Whereas this one, I do sort of want to do a very like sort of easy glam, I suppose I would call it my version of easy glam. Just so I can feel very confident in my appearance and ready for work, it really uh, wakes me up in the morning and really makes me feel ready to take on the day. I feel like anytime I am looking good, I am automatically going to be feeling a lot better. I would always be using my magnifying mirror of a morning. I don't use any harsh lighting. I try to use natural light. Uh, obviously for filming purposes, I have my lights on and I don't need natural light. But I do find that with natural light, I don't feel like I have to wear as much makeup. My main objective with my look is to look nice and fresh and put together. This product I'm using is my Mabel and Meg Lim Elixir. I'm just going to start working it out all over my face. Next I'm using the Smashbox Pore Minimizing Primer and I'm going to slap it on my face and just really get it on there. Next I'm going in with my Born This Way foundation in the shade Pearl and I'm applying that using my Kat Von D Lock It Foundation brush. This is brush number 10. So I just squirt it directly on to the brush and so I just start painting that on my face. taking that down the neck. Then I just work my brush back over to make sure that it's like really blended in. Next I'm going in with my Born This Way Concealer and I believe this is in the shade Fair. And you may be wondering why this is looking all like leaky and mangy. It's because it looks like this every single goddamn day. I love this concealer, but it pisses me off so much that it doesn't matter how much I clean this, this happens every day. So once again, after I use this, I'm going to clean it off and I can guarantee you it's going to be there tomorrow. So I just like to take it under the eyes, down the nose, uh, usually down the side of the lips, a bit on the chin. I very sparingly go between my brows and I've got like a little blemish going on here, a little guy down here. Um, otherwise my skin's looking pretty good. It's just those two spots. And I'll be blending that in with my Kat Von D Lock It Concealer Brush. This is brush number 40. I just go through and blend that in. And the reason why I go sparingly between my brows, it tends to collect in those little lines there. It just, I don't know what it is. It must just be the oils in my skin, but it makes a bunch up. So I find that the less that I put there, the better it is. I... I'm then going to go in with my Tarte Contour Kit and I'm going to set my face. And to apply that powder, I'll be using the Kat Von D Locket. Uh, I believe this is like the under eye setting brush. This is brush number 25. So what I actually like to do is just mix these two together and I really load my brush up. Okay, and I'm going to start in my under eye area. And I'm like seriously consistently getting Powder. You're gonna see me, I'm just gonna keep going into it to really, really set my face. And then I just lightly take it down my neck. So next I'm gonna powder contour and I'm going to be mixing both of these shades together. And to apply that, I'm going to be using Kat Von D Shade and Light Brush. I'll be using the shade side. As you can see, I'm using lots of Kat Von D brushes. They come in really handy for everyday makeup. They really do. I love these brushes. And I really do hope that Kat Von D brings out like a full range. I would love that. Please Kat Von D, not that you are probably watching this, but please bring out a full range of brushes. 
I would just, you know, be like, take my money, take my money. I'm just dipping in, and I normally go in the darker one first and then like top it off with the lighter one. And then have a pen attack me. Maybe I got a little bit aggressive. And I'm just going in large sweeping motions because I'm not just contouring, I'm sort of bronzing out my face as well. And that over the top, on my forehead, and along the jawline. So next I'm going to be taking the blush shade and once again using the Kat Von D shade and light brush but I'm using the light side as my blush brush and I just sort of tap it in there, I don't swirl because I just want it sort of on the end of the brush. I'm just going to... And so I'm just going to go above that contour. So you can see just already how much healthier and nicer I'm looking. Um, it's just bringing a bit of warmth and a bit of color, um, a bit of consistency to my skin. Just like trying to look fresh basically. So right now is when I would gauge, do I have enough time to do my brows or don't I? And the key to this is getting that brow time down and doing it really straightforward. What I will do is go through and tidy up my brows no matter what. I will always brush through my brows, even if I'm not going to do them, which has only happened once so far. So to do my brows, I use Quick Brow, and this damn thing is a bloody godsend. It is waterproof. It will not budge. Um, I really love this product because it is super duper easy to use. So I'm going to flip the lid, get some product on there. And so normally every day for work, I'd in fact be wearing my glasses. Uh, I don't wear contacts when I'm at work because I sit in front of a computer screen all day. So I'll be putting on my glasses. I would load each side of the brush and I would flip it. I'm going to be using the shape of the brush to create my brow. So instead of dragging it this way, I'm going to be laying it flat against my brow. And so I start in the middle. And I actually use the width of the brush to draw on my brows. Drag that forward through a little bit. And then I draw in the tail of my brow. I tidy up the bottom edge and then I take whatever product is left and I do my fade in at the front of the brow. And I start slowly dragging it in further and further. Okay. So you can see like how quickly do we just create that brow like super duper fast that's what i'm saying like if you can manage to get your brow like an everyday brow routine down really fast you can do your brows really quick every day and really like cut down the time that you're spending on doing your makeup so i'll just do the other brow and i'll be right back all right now i've got both my brows on i would not normally need to clean up the edge because i'm normally pretty consistent with following the shape um, only really what I have to do is like clean up the tail because sometimes I tend to make them a little bit uneven or not as pointed as I would like. I would definitely always comb through the brows to make sure that they're nice and tidy. Especially because I have an inconsistent amount of hair on each brow. Just to really sort of get everything looking neat and tidy. So next I'm using my Anastasia Beverly Hills Glow Kit and... Being that I'm quite fair, I like to go in with Summer or Moonstone and, and I'm applying that with the Spectrum Cyan B03 Flat Top Blending Brush. And I actually just go in a dead straight line right at the high point of my cheekbone. And you can sort of diffuse it out a little bit if you think it's a little bit too harsh. Whatever's left on the brush, tip of the nose, give it a Take a little on. The sides of the face along the temple yeah next I'm going to go in with the Too Faced Sweet Peach palette and this palette comes in so handy uh, I can create so many different looks that suit me because I've got green eyes this is definitely a favorite for me as far as like cosmetics for green eyes so I'm gonna go in with the shade Peaches and Cream and I'm using an A06 big uh, flat brush and I'm just gonna cover the entire lid with that shade next I'm going in to the shade puree and I'll be using a B06 blending brush that's also from Cyan Spectrum Collections and I am just going to take this through the crease 
Next, I'm going to go in the shade Charmed I'm Sure, and I'm using the same brush. And I'm just going to concentrate that on the outer corner. And then I sort of take that into the crease as well. Next, I'm taking my Kat Von D Tattoo Liner in Trooper, and this is mini. I do have the full size, but I may as well just use this up uh, while I got it. Uh, so I don't do a wing for work. If I am going out for the evening afterwards, then maybe I might get up a little bit earlier and give myself a wing, but most of the time I don't bother. I'm just going to line my lash line. That is literally all I'm doing. And that's it. It like literally took two seconds for me to line my eyes. Then I go in with whatever decrepit Maybelline mascara I have. Um, Maybelline mascaras have always been my favorite. This is Colossal Lash. And for this, I would have the mirror down low. So I can really see that I'm coating my lashes from the root to the tip. Going back in with my glow kit and that same brush that we used to do a highlight. I'm just going to go in with this. Just going to tap that on the inner corner just because I like to have a little bit of a glow just to brighten the inner corner. Um, I have a bit of a blue purple undertone in the inner corner and I just feel like uh, it just really helps to lift this area. So I don't always wear a lipstick. Sometimes I will, sometimes I won't. It just depends on how I'm feeling. Sometimes I use like a Too Faced lip oil. Sometimes a Clinique Chubby Stick. If I do want to wear a lipstick, it's either this Urban Decay Mini in Naked, which I do want to see if there's a full size, just like with the Kat Von D uh, Study Kisses Magic. I want to see if that comes in full size. Sometimes I wear that as well. It does have glitter in it, the Magic one by Kat Von D. But usually either um, the glitter has worn off by the time I get to work, or it is subtle enough that it doesn't really matter anyway. And I don't usually align my lips. I just go in with the lipstick and just... If I had a spare couple of minutes, I'll do things like pluck my eyebrows if there's any stray hairs. I'll do things like tease my hair to make it a little bit um, puffier, uh, you know, take down my flyaways, things like that, just to really like neat myself up. That's what that's my main goal with my makeup is just to look fresh and neat and tidy. Yeah, like a little bit glamorous. It doesn't take very long to do this. Like as I said, I average about 20-25 minutes. It is the same every single day, and um, I'm getting faster and faster at it because I know exactly what steps are coming after each. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and you found it helpful. Uh, even if you don't use this for work purposes or you only use parts of it for work purposes, uh, I hope you really enjoyed it. Don't forget you can follow me on Facebook, Instagram and Snapchat. They are all lovely deluxe. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, subscribe, hit that notification bell so you can be notified anytime I publish a video. This was Sharon from Love Lady Lux and I will see you next time. And in case anybody wanted to see what the final look like with my glasses. Just so you know, I don't have a beer before work. It's 11.35 p.m. at night.